Hi there, welcome to www.highschoolmaths.co.uk. Today we're going to be looking at probability. So probability is a way of showing mathematically um, how likely something is to happen. So when you talk about probability in real life, you, you say something's likely to happen, unlikely, impossible, or definitely going to happen, something along those lines, or has an even chance like flipping a coin. Um, not everything's as simple as that, so we've got some examples here that are going to show you how you calculate probabilities of different events happening, how you would lay that out mathematically. So we've got this little formula up at the top, probability of an event happening is the favourable outcomes divided by the possible outcomes. And we've got an example down here, um, favourable outcomes basically just means the outcomes you're wanting to ha you want to happen, possible outcomes is all the possible outcomes that could happen. So if we look at this example, we've got a bag contains three cones, two spheres, five cubes, and two cuboids. And we want to figure out the probability of picking a cone first of all. So let's have a look at that to start off. Now, the way we write that is probability of picking a cone to communicate that that's the probability of picking a cone clearly um, and not mix up with any of the other shapes in the bag. So for a cone, we've got to look at how many cones are in the bag. Well, there's three. So three cones in the bag out of, now we've got to count how many shapes, including the cone, um, there are actually in the bag. So we've got three, add two, which is five, add another five, which is 10, 12. So three, two, five, and two makes 12. Okay, so if we add them together, that's telling us we've got a three out of 12 chance of picking a cone, but we always want a probability, like any fraction, simplified as far as possible. You'll notice that these are both in the three times table. So if we divide them both by three, we get one quarter or a one in four chance of picking a cone. And we can do the same thing for the part B and part C. So part B, we've got the probability of picking a sphere. So we've got to look how many spheres we've got. We've got two spheres. And again, it's going to be out of 12. So two out of 12, you notice they're both in the two times table. So we can half them. We've got a one in six chance of picking a sphere. And finally, in here, for C, we've got a cube. So the probability of picking a cube is going to be 5 out of 12, and in that event, that doesn't simplify any because 5 is a prime number and uh, 12 is not in 5 times table. So 5 over 12 is our simplified or final answer for the probability of picking a cube. Okay, so that's your basic example of how probability works. Uh, and you can use that to compare different probabilities. If we look here, um, if we look just at the probabilities, the probability of the cone was 3 and 12, sphere was 2 and 12, and cube was 5 and 12. The higher that number, the more likely you are to pick that, uh, to, to have that outcome um, happen. So um, 5 and 12 is the most likely to happen. Um, so let's have a look at a few more examples of that. So we've got, first of all, dice and then cards, very typical kind of examples you'll probably see in maths. Uh, using a six-sided dice, what is the probability of rolling a uh, four? Should actually be a six sided die, but most people are more familiar with the word dice, so we'll keep it a dice. Uh, so, uh, dice is actually the plural. So, we've got a four here. Um, we've, we've got to think how many fours, so we're with probability of rolling a four for part A. Okay, you've got to think how many fours are on a dice. There's only one four on a dice, so we've got a one and six chance. Okay, there's one, there's only one number four on one of the sides. Out of the six sides and so so one is six chance so that's your final simplified answer probably also picking a seven a regular six-sided die then there's no seven on a normal dice so our normal die so we've got a zero chance of rolling that you could write zero out of six first but that that would be we would expect that to be simplified to just zero zero divided by six is still zero okay so that comes as part of your simplifying an even number so we're looking at two four and six. So probability of picking an even number as well there's three even numbers out of six. So that'd be a one in one in two chance or half chance or fifty percent chance, which makes sense. And the same if we did an odd number, that would be a one out of two chance as well. Um, okay, so lots of different things you can do with dice and you can actually start to look at combining probability with multiple dice rolls. Um, that's that's a bit more complicated. We're going to stick to the simple probability just now. Okay, so second example, a uh, standard pack of cards has 52, so a standard pack of cards has 52 cards. Uh, what is the probability of choosing? And we're going to go for a queen, first of all. So for part A, probability of choosing a queen. Oh, I can't write. Now let's try that again. 
probability of choosing a queen. There we go. That's better. So we know that there's 52 cards in the deck. Okay. Uh, in a deck of cards, you've got four different suits. You've got spades and clubs, hearts and diamonds. Or hearts and rhombuses if you're wrong by if you're a math teacher. Uh, but hearts and diamonds. So four different suits. Each suit has a queen. So there's four queens. There's the queen of hearts, the queen of diamonds, the queen of spades, the queen of clubs. So there's four queens all together. So four out of 52. It's going to work down the way, this one. They're both in the four times table. So if we divide by four, we get one out of 13, which makes sense. In every suit, there are 13 cards. They're starting at the ace, which is one, all the way up to the king, which would be 13. So there's 13 cards. One of, the, one of those cards is a queen, so we've got one in 13 chance. Part B, a red card, so the probability of picking a red card. Well, half of the deck is red because the diamond and the hearts are reds, the spades and the clubs are black. So out of the 52 cards, 26 are going to be red. Actually, again, you should know really that half, that's going to simplify to half because they're both divisible by 26. Okay, so that, that immediately simplifies down to half, and half of a deck of cards is black, half of a deck, deck of cards is going to be red. Okay, and final one, probability of picking ace of diamonds. Okay, so there's only going to be one ace of diamonds in the whole normal set of cards. So, out of the 52 cards we've got, there's only going to be one. It's a unitary fraction. We can't simplify that anymore. So we've got a 1 in 52 chance of picking that card. Okay, so that is all probability really is. It's looking at how likely is something is to happen and trying to put that into a kind of numerical value so that you can compare it with the likelihood of other things happening. And you can look at how that comes into play in loads of different situations, but that's your basic calculation of how you find uh, a probability of an event happening. So hopefully you found that useful. Um, for our other maths videos and resources, please visit www.highschoolmaths.co.uk. If you like the video, don't forget to click that like button and remember and subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching and have a math and magical day.